Remove those collections. Or click the link in the description, 40% off. 747, you're gonna get it. It's an instant download. Easily dispute items in your credit reports with the easy dispute templates. It includes four templates and simple instructions. You're gonna get the instructions on how to dispute collections in your reports. How to get your three credit reports and scores. That's all three credit reports and scores from Equifax, TransUnion, and Experian. Where to send your letters to. Personal information update letter template. And two different collection dispute letter templates. And you're gonna get the follow-up dispute letter template. Go ahead, download these templates. You click the 40% off link in the description. You get it for 747 instant download. What I pay for, I pay for monthly updates on all three bureaus. I get the Experian, TransUnion, and Equifax monthly. Okay, so I get all three. I actually got all the medical collections on my credit report deleted. I got those deleted uh, last month, I believe. One came off, and this month, another one came off. So I'll show you that. Now working on the repo, I have a repo I'm trying to get off. Actually, Santander is tricky because Santander actually went through a class action lawsuit. And with the class action lawsuits, they are supposed to help repair your credit because they actually got hit with predatory lending. Now, as anyone ever had Santander, you know, when you go to the dealership, they pretty much push Santander on you. So they just push it on you. And so I ended up with Santander. I gave a five dollar deposit. My 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 uh my interest rate was incredible. I mean incredible as far as bad, you know. And I didn't even really get it, but I figured I was gonna do Uber and Lyft, so I didn't care, whatever. I uh, who cares? That's how I looked at it. I mean my card note was outrageous, you know what I mean? But that was the interest rate. The interest rate was in the twenties, but I had a seven sixty credit score. But also before you go do something like that, uh you might wanna take the freeze off your accounts one reason why i couldn't get approved for a better interest rate and better lenders is because i had a fraud alert on all three bureaus for seven years and also had a freeze on my equifax okay okay now so what you see here is my score all right you might think oh this is not a lot this is not a whole lot but here's my credit usage my credit usage is five percent here's my total debt 570 all right now three open accounts six inquiries okay I'm telling you, it's bad because of I have a whole lot of late pays. All right, I have a whole lot of late pays. I got the two, told you I got the two, um, the two medicals removed. I still have a bank account in here. I have to get removed. All right, I'm, I'm not afraid to show you this stuff. Okay, guys, I'm, I'm really not. I'm, I ain't worried about it. All right, I have five late payments on first premier. You might say you got a first premier card. Yes. It's a card I got when I was rebuilding my credit a couple years ago. I just never closed it. One of my oldest cards. You see, my Navy Federal has excellent payment history. Uh, I keep my balances around 5%, as you can see. 5%. I keep everything around 5%, all right? My balance is at 5%. All right. I still have a student loan. Now I have eight, pay, eight late payments on that, but I'm almost done with this. I only have a few more payments with the uh, with the student loan. I'll be done, but I'm gonna write it out because I had the late pay, so I'm gonna write it out. And here's my only collection on this account. All right, it's my only collection. My I have no collections on my on my Equifax and TransUnion. I have no collections, but those collections were removed. All right, and, that, and it was because I sent in the letter. I'll show you the letter I sent in. All right. So, CCL National Bank here. All right, that's my only collection. So I'm good. And I just sent in a letter for that. All right. Completed. All right, these were both removed. All right. These were the two that was removed. They kept this on here. Like I say, Santander been tripping. All right. And back then, I got a whole bunch of stuff removed as well. As you can see, I got all, all of this stuff was removed. This was back in 2018. But I just restarted this year. And these two I got removed. Now, when I first was doing my credit, my credit repair back in 2018, I never wrote a letter. I sent in the letter to update my personal information, but I never wrote a letter. I called in all the time to all three bureaus. And then when the Sprint account wouldn't come off, I put in a, a, a fraud alert through. Well, I filed a fraud 
I filed an identity theft claim through the FTC, which I'm going to have to file another claim through the FTC with Santander because Santander just been tripping. They updated the information to zero balance and all of that, but they put a charge off on there. They put late pages, all craziness. They're supposed to take the stuff off. All right, so I'm going to have to go ahead and, you know, file a complaint with FTC. The credit bureaus won't take it off. Santander won't take it off. It's just weird. And you might say, well, it is what it is. Well, it, of course, I did do it. But if you made a settlement saying that you're going to make it whole, you're going to update, well, you, you're going to repair the credit reports because you were doing predatory lending. You sought out people and had the, uh, the, the dealerships falsify documents and, you know, just to get these loans so you could sell them to the, to, to the, uh, to the uh, private market that that's you you did that you preyed upon people and boost these high payments you did that so anyway you know I didn't have to take it but you preyed upon what people need at the time or what people want at the time you preyed upon that and you said that you were gonna fix it so fix it but anyway so I got these two removed all right now I'll show you the letter that I used give me a second put it up because this was my credit score back in March all right so to me for me to jump it up to a 617 on my own didn't do any credit repair i did it myself so i went from back in march 472 to today at a 617 on my own accord with late payments and everything like that you, you gotta admit hey that dude did pretty good with his foot suffer all right it says this item was removed from your credit report this happened on the fourth right this was the fourth it was removed all right that's the medical data systems and the nationwide recovery was in July so July 27 this item was removed and it was all because of the letters I'm about to show you right all right let me blow this up for you so you can see how I format my letters all right so right here this is how I format my letters okay What I do, I had a date at the top. Let me get it smaller to get it all on the screen. What I do is I had a date at the top here. All right, this is the date. This would be your name, city, state, zip code. You're going to have your SSN, your date of birth, and your report number. Okay, so you see that? You got a date up here, your name, city, state, SSN, date of birth. In your report number. If you don't have a report number, that's fine. But I usually had a report number. If because what, what I guess you should have a report number because you're gonna pull your credit report first. So let me blow this up so you can see it. So after you got that on here, you had a report number. Then you put the name of the credit bureau you send the letter to. And right here, this is uh, regarding Medical Data Systems Inc. That's the most recent one I got taken off with Medical Data Systems Inc. And this is how I write it. All right. You know, you don't have to write it like this. I just, this is my format. Come up with your own format. I came up with this format myself. All right. I didn't see anybody do that. I just came up with this myself. I just know I learned about, you know, the different laws and how to write um, letters because you want it to sound like you. You want the letter to sound like a normal person. You don't want to use a whole bunch of legal mumble jumbo. All right. You just want it to sound normal. You want the letter to sound like a regular person who just concerned about his credit report, but you know what you're talking about. All right. So while reviewing my credit report, I see this collection from Medical Data Systems Inc. I do not know of this company, and I'm sure I haven't had any dealings with any affiliates of this company. I could be mistaken, but to ensure that this collection is accurate, I would like to see the original binding contract with my hand written signature. Now, because of it's a medical contract, guys, check this out. The signature cannot be electronic if it's for medical. It will have to be hand signed by me. So, they might try to send you some crap that has maybe, you know, uh, uh, electronic signature. But if you was at the hospital, why don't you sign something electronically? You sign the letter by hand in the hospital, right? So, bam, there it is. If any such document is not available, then this item must be deleted immediately. All right. This is the letter I wrote. Don't don't use the letter ver verbatim. And I'm going to tell you why in a second. Furthermore, anything other than a copy of the original signed contract must be what well, would be insufficient. 
All right. A copy of a bill with my name is not considered evidence that I owe this debt. If such bill contains any medical information, such as services rendered, will be in violation of HIPAA laws. Therefore, this item must be deleted immediately. And I put medical data in, ink, you know, the account number, exactly how it looks on the credit report and the balance of it. And I also add, if this request is not met in a timely manner, which is about 30 days, Medical Data Systems Inc. must, well, you're right. Medical Data Systems Inc. must be deleted from my file. Thank you. And type your name. Never sign it. Do not sign anything, all right? I know you probably watch other videos and all that, and they all say the same thing. Do not sign anything. Just type it. You can handwrite it and all that stuff, but I don't I want to handwrite anything either because they can kind of match it up with your signature if they do have a signature on file. They have to figure out what's what. They have to prove that you owe this debt. All right? So this is my letter to the credit bureau, and you see I have them, I had them delete it. You know, Equifax might not respond right away. I sent this letter, actually I sent this letter first and I had to send an update letter to some of them, I think with Equifax because they didn't respond. And actually the letter was kind of modified a little bit. It, all my formats are the same, this is my format. It was modified a little bit and it basically stated that they didn't respond within 30 days. So everything else on here was kind of like whatever. Now you didn't respond within 30 days. Now you got to delete it from the file because the law, the law said you had to respond within 30 days. All right. Same thing happened with Santander, with Equifax, everything was 30 days, but you know, they deleted the medical because only had one on Equifax, which was medical data systems on Experian and TransUnion. I had this one and the other one you saw. All right. So that's that. So this is the letter. You can use the letter but change it quite a bit. You're gonna kind of use my verbiage a little bit, but change it quite a bit because what happens with, they use a system at the credit bureaus called eOscar, right? And with eOscar, they pretty much match up the letters with different templates. And so if they see a lot of templates that are similar, they figure you're fake, it's fraudulent, whatever, and they're not going to honor it. They're just going to kick it back out. It was verified. That's pretty much how it's going to go. So modify it heavily. Do your own thing to it. But make sure you're kind of hitting all the points with the laws and things like that. Let them know, hey, I'm human, but I don't like this stuff. Could you please delete this mess? Especially medical. Medical is kind of simple. All right. Medical is kind of simple. It's probably one of the easiest ones to get off. Okay. So that's my letter. Right. And hey, you know, let's get this money. All right. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.